you're doing well, wherever you're watching me from. Now, uh, this is on here at uh, Masset Lab Academy. Uh, today, our lesson is very simple, uh, but uh, very tricky if you don't see it. We want to talk about uh, thermal expansion of uh, solid. And in this lesson, we are going to accompany it with uh, some practical and experiment to confirm the thermal expansion of uh, solid. Uh, I'm sure this is the first time you're hearing of this word. Expansion may mean the increase in size, or uh, size here we can talk about maybe length, or volume of a substance. For this case, we want to look at specifically thermal expansion of solid. Now, solids are very difficult to know where they undergo, uh, they undergo uh, expansion or not. Imagine your house expands because it's made of a solid, the concrete, uh, the metals. Those fixing, the, the metals that are used to fix the windows and the doors, they must have the same thermal uh, expansivity. In other words, they expand the same way and contract the same way approximately almost actually should be the same as that of the concrete. If that one engineer doesn't take that into account, then what will happen? We'll find our, uh, our, uh, the, the crack within the walls of uh, your house. We'll be able to see uh, you know, the, the glass is breaking uh, slow by slow and you keep on repairing and it's all about the concept of um, you know, thermal expansion of solid. You, you, you see the telephone wires, you've seen the electrical wires going down. Uh, but maybe the, a good example is that uh, in regions that have uh, extreme temperature change, um, those telephone wires, you know, they, they, they are left to serve like this. You know, this length here is left for what? For thermal expansion and thermal, uh, you know, contraction. So if this wire contracts when it is too cold, then the wire can be able to, to straighten along here. If a solid, that room for expansion or contraction is not left for a solid, then uh, the force associated with such kind of process can be able to break the material, can break down a big building, can break even uh, you know, the railway lines. So our aim here today is to understand do solids expand and how do we know? Because the expansion can be very insignificant. You can actually identify that, oh, today in my house, the, you know, the building has expanded. It's very difficult to identify that. But then I want us to carry out a simple experiment uh, to demonstrate that indeed solids expand when heated. And that is the so point. in this simple experiment here, uh, I have the source of heat here with me. Uh, I have the famous uh, the ring and ball experiment. Uh, probably you've seen this in your school, or maybe you've never used it before. Uh, we want to see. So because it doesn't have the handle, so I'll be using this uh, when you're heating it may become you know very hot. So that is what happens. Now before we heat this, uh, you can able to see the ball is able to pass through you know a true temperature. The ball is able to pass through uh, the ring very easily as you're able to see that. Uh, what if we hit uh, this ball here? What will happen? So we need to light our. So it's producing an aluminous flame. Uh, maybe you may be able to see it clearly, but the flame will be there is a flame here, so what I'm doing is to heat the ball and then uh, we try to see if it can able to pass through the wing.
until the next call. So we're going that smoothly as before. But then let's allow it, uh, you know, let's allow it uh, to If you allow it to rest there for some time, it can able to pass through. Uh, so those are some of the questions we ask yourself. Uh, what happens? Why is it that uh, initially it was passing through without any problem? But then once it is heated, uh, it's a little bit difficult for it to pass through. Uh, but when you allow it to rest, you know, when you allow it to rest uh, for some time on the on the ring, it is passed through. It is as simple as this. Uh, initially, the ball could pass through the ring at room temperature. But when we heat the ball, the ball expanded, it increased in volume more than the size of this ring here. But when it rested here for some time, uh, when it rested here for some time, the ball will be able to pass through again, once again, freely. Why? There was a transfer of heat through conduction. So the ball transferred heat to the, to the ring due to the heat flow. So once the ring also expanded, which we can see, what we are able to see is the effect of that movement. And that is a simple demonstration to show that uh, indeed uh, metals or solids expand when heated. Thank you for joining.